Cruise is one of those shows that you see it and you never, ever forget it. It's the ultimate challenge as a choreographer, it's the ultimate challenge as an actor, it's the ultimate challenge as a vocalist. It's the best of the best. I was the assistant choreographer for Annie Get Your Gun in the summer of 2010. Last summer I choreographed Oliver and this summer I'm working on Lamez. When I was auditioning them, I was looking for real raw emotion because this show is so emotional and takes you through every emotion there is really. And for someone to give real emotion can really bring the meaning home rather than somebody who's obviously like a fake smile or a fake sad face. It has to come from within. When the uh, dance portion of the audition, I had them do running through different emotions through basically just their facial expressions and I can't think of one person that wasn't able to do that. Les Mis isn't your normal musical in which there's huge dance numbers. So for this, it's not only a challenge for me as a choreographer to provide more pedestrian moves, but it's a challenge to the actors and actresses to portray their story and everything, their emotion, not only through their vocals, but through their movement. Because there's no dialogue, it's a lot harder to interject emotion. When choreographing huge dance numbers, for instance, like what I had just done today with the March at the End of Act One, we're all... 80 plus members of the cast are on stage and dancing all at once. It's a lot harder than, for instance, when there's I'm just concentrating on one or two people because not only am I having to think of movement that can be clean and executed well. They are some of the most amazing vocalists I have ever heard. I mean, they have to be. This show is powerhouse of vocals, but I was most blown away by how talented they are by portraying emotion just through their face. Dancing for Les Mis provides another avenue for them to express their emotions. Dance is imperative to tell the story.